Uh, hey guys, this is Atul from Team K Tone Academy, and in this video, I'm going to talk or share how to create a container registry so you can store images on Oracle Cloud. So we'll be creating an Oracle container registry so that you can create images. Now, before I go and teach you on how to do it on this console, we'll actually be doing it. Let me quickly tell uh, what is a registry for those who don't know and what exactly you store in that container registry. So Typically what happens is that when you're in a container world, containerized world, your developer will create a Docker file from an application that you want to build. That application using the Docker file will be created in an image. Through that image, you can create your containers. So image is nothing but a, uh, think of it as like a operating system. It's not actually operating system, but a containerized um, application packaged with all these dependencies through which you start containers. Now these containers or these sorry these um, images are stored in something called as container registry and there are multiple repos that are available and here are some of the container registries which are available very common one docker hub is one of the most common ones but now on cloud each cloud vendor has its docker compliant container registry to store these images so from aws you have ecr elastic container registry Oracle, as I'm going to show you, which is Oracle Container Registry. ACR is Azure Container Registry. And Google, from Google, you have a Google Container Registry. So if you go to hub.docker.com, you will see all the images or repositories. And in that, you will have all the images that you're stored. You can filter out on based on that. So typically, what happens? Developer will push the code into the Git repository. And using from that code, you create using Docker, comp Docker build, or through different methods, you create a Docker image uh, that will go into the registry and that registry can be then deployed to or on, or sorry, that Im not registry, image from that registry can be pulled and deployed on any container platform or container orchestration tool like Kubernetes. So with that, let's go and click on create registry. So if you're in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI, just type registry here and that will give you all the uh, the menu item here on under you create these registries here. I've already logged in and I'm on this US West Phoenix region. I'm creating this registry. Uh, so this is how it look like containers are artifact. This is a Kubernetes implementation on Oracle Cloud. Uh, this is where you can run independent containers like the way you do in Docker containers as well. This is where you have container registry and this is how you go and create this container registry and service mesh and artifact registry I'll cover in some time in the future. Now, on this page, you have to select the compartment. I hope you know the compartment, but if not, it's a logical collection of resources through which you can provide uh, specific services. I've just picked up a compartment named compartment 01. Now this is where you're going to set the settings related to this container repo, which means it will tell you, dictate you how long to retain these images, as I was saying, and this is a global policy and you can also have a specific repo specific policies as well. So here it's saying, after how many days to delete these images or you don't want to delete as well. And there are a lot of other settings you can do. So in order for you to create a repository, simply say create a repo, very simple, straightforward. You give name of the compartment in which you're going to create that repo, oh, sorry, the repository. Now that repo is going to be public or private. Public can be accessible over the internet. You can download and access and so on. Private is where it's only available uh, by authentication authorization within a specific, uh, uh, cloud account you can restrict you can do a lot of those things as well so you just do a name name here and say k21 repo i'm just creating an underscore zero one and then you can specify a tag that can be later used for different purpose i'm going to keep it simple and say create a repo and that's pretty much this is and i've um i've created a repo but inside that now i i can upload the images if i want to so i can change it to public i can change i can do some configurations and i can then later add any um, images inside that repo if i want to and those <clears throat> how to create images how to upload how to use them will cover in subsequent uh, videos um if you found this useful oh by the way there's a documentation as well i'll link, link this documentation about container registry you can just google or you can go to oracle.oracle.com from there you can do container registry you can go further read it also the content then then you um all those things which i've mentioned on a high level you can go further read it if you have any specific question do let me know uh, with that um, otherwise i'll see you in another video and yeah let me know in comment section if you have any questions for me 
Uh, with that, this is Atul from Team K-Tone Academy. Take care and bye for now.